It's fall. Yes, I know it's been fall for a while, <laughs> but I'm going to share with you all our fall books for this year. Stick around. Welcome to the channel. My name is Morgan here at The Life of Tillman's. If this is your first time, I am so happy to have you. I hope that while you're here, you find everything that you need, love, and enjoy right here on the channel. If you haven't done so already, go ahead, click that subscribe button and the notification bell so that you do not miss any of the videos uploaded. If you've been with me before, welcome back. I am happy and pleased to say that it is finally starting to feel like fall here where we live. I have an issue with like getting in the mood for fall or any holiday when it really doesn't feel like the holiday. I've kind of had to like push myself into the fall season. We have not even put up fall decorations yet and it is what, October, I don't know, 11th? My daughter's sitting here doing some schoolwork. So, um, but it's October 11th and we have not even put up decorations. It just has not felt like fall for us, but we are finally starting to get into that groove. The temperatures are cooling off. The leaves and things are changing colors. We are getting acorns on the ground in our next door neighbor's yard. Awesome things are happening and we are so excited. I have taken my time really slowly to pick out our fall books. I will link down below all of the things that we did for fall last year. We had different fall activities, fall books. I will link all of that down below so that if you have not seen those videos, you can go back and check out some of our favorite fall books from last year. I added in a few books this year. However, I was limited. I've been talking about budgets. Yes, budgets are a thing. They are a real thing. They do exist and we do have to stick to them. They are a real thing. They do exist and we do have to stick to them. I'm talking to myself. Hopefully that helped you. Let's say that together. But so I wasn't able to get all of the books that I really wanted to get this year. However, one great thing is that our library seems to carry almost everything. So if I was not able to actually purchase the book, I was able to check it out at the library. And I also limited myself because I can tend to go overboard sometimes with getting books, not just buying them, but even checking books out from the library. You're like, I want this book and that book and this book. Um, and so I did not do that this year. I did limit myself. The way I did that, I'm gonna share that with you. This year I decided to really get books that would not only get us and keep us in the fall mood, but also teach us something important about life. Life, we can learn so many things from books, stories that are told in books. I made sure that each of the books that I was able to get, not every one of them, but a majority of the books that I was able to get had some deeper meaning to them but also are all in the spirit of fall. I am going to link and do my best to link every single book down below in case you are interested in checking out any of these books. And I will also tell you which ones were library checkout books versus what I actually purchased and why and all the good stuff behind them. I'm not going to spoil all of the books for you, but I will give you some details about each one. So hang out with me. The first books I'm gonna start with are books that I checked out from the library. I wanted to buy them, but why not? There were others that were more of my favorites. I'll share those last. This first one is called Apple Picking Day. It is a step into readers, definitely um, for beginning readers. My four-year-old, this would be good for her to have someone read it to her. My big girls are gonna breeze through this, but just a really fun book about simply picking apples. We do not have a place to go and pick apples here. I wish, wish, wish that we did. I thought I had found one, but I didn't. So this is all about just a family going and picking apples and what an amazing day they have in the fall. This next book is going to be one of our read alouds. It is a Moomin Valley in November. My daughter over the summer read Moomin in the summer, I believe was the title of the book, and she absolutely loved it. So as you can see, it's about this thick, but it is a chapter book. Pretty much there is a family that comes to a house. They are looking for the Moomin family. They are not there. They're wondering where they are. It is mid-November and all of a sudden they are tasked with having to live with each other, to function in the same space and enjoy themselves. Will they actually enjoy themselves and survive this November time? 
You'll have to read to see. The next one is another one. It's all about a pig. This is Poppleton in fall. And it just talks about all of the different things that he does throughout the day in the fall. It's a pretty thin book, um, but it has three chapters in it, I believe. And they're, they're very short, but it talks about the geese, the goat and pancake breakfast. Here we go. So this is all about Poppleton and what he sees throughout his day in the fall. The next book that I, or and the last book that I picked up from the library is The Golden Acorn. <laughs> okay, in this book, I'm gonna read it to you, but Squirrel, Squirrel loves acorns and every single year there is a competition for the Golden Acorn, the absolute best acorn ever. And she has always won the prize for the best acorn. Well, this year the competition has changed and now she has to work with a group of people in order to get this best acorn ever and win the prize. But she doesn't know how to work in groups. She doesn't like group work. It's not her thing. I thought this book would be absolutely perfect because I have a child or two who don't necessarily like working in groups. I thought this would be a really good teaching lesson. And because if you've followed us for any amount of time, you guys know that we love acorns. We have an acorn tree right next door to us in our neighbor's yard, and we simply go and pick up acorns and do crafts with acorns. My daughter, youngest, brings home acorns all the time. We are waiting for more acorns to fall off of this tree, so why not get, there's a glare on it, an acorn book. We are gonna learn about acorns and we're gonna learn about teamwork. <laughs> okay, these last few books I did purchase, I felt like they were really good books to add to our home library and I had to prioritize. Um, I did not spend a whole lot, but I did stay within budget. Yay, that is always a plus. Um, and I got, I got a lot of what I wanted. Things that I may have wanted that I was not able to get I will just add those to my list and we will shoot for it next year. The first book that I decided to purchase was The Little Yellow Leaf. This book is all about this last yellow leaf hanging on to the tree. Scared to fall off, afraid of the unknown, doing it all alone. Well, when this leaf hangs on for as long as it can, it looks over to the other side of the tree and finds a little red leaf hanging on as well. And they together decide to fall off of the tree as one committed to this journey and they do it together. All about togetherness, trusting each other and finding friends along the journey. This next book is called Every Autumn Comes the Bear. And this is about a bear who shows up in the backyard of a family every autumn looking for food, not hurting anyone, just kind of doing his thing, preparing for the winter. I thought this was a cute book for us to grab, super cheap off of Amazon, I will link it down below. The next book is called The Biggest Pumpkin Ever. This book is all about sharing. <laughs> In the journey, there are two, I, I'm gonna call them mice, here and they each find a pumpkin, two of them. Well, one finds the pumpkin during the day, the other one finds the pumpkin during the night. Same exact pumpkin, they are taking care of it night and day so they're not running into each other until one day they do. And they each have different plans for this pumpkin. Well, when they both discover that they have been taking care of this pumpkin, they have to decide what they're gonna do with the pumpkin. Are they gonna choose one or the other? come up with a mutual agreement all about teamwork and working together with this pumpkin. The biggest pumpkin ever. This next book I just really thought was cute. Um, it kind of like serves no, I don't know, deep <laughs> purpose other than it was super cute and we love Lift the Flap books. And it is a Lift the Flap surprise autumn in the forest. We learned about the forest in our curriculum about three or four weeks ago, which is awesome. We learned all about the animals and plants and things of the forest. And so I thought, why not grab a Lift the Flat book? My girls, yes, they are nine and eight and four, but my two oldest, they love Lift the Flat books. My youngest, of course she loves them, she's four. So I thought this would be a winner for all of us, but I'll show you the first page. It has quite a bit 
of reading here, which is really good. And then they're so cute, cute little things here. And it gives you some information um, about whatever it is. Very cute book. I love the graphics in it. They did a really, really good job. See if I can get this open for you guys. There and then here. Love it, love it, love it. Go grab this one. It's really cute. Okay, this next book, it just tugs on my heart because we have um, the one of the books in a series. It is called, I'm just gonna tell you. This one is Penguin and Pumpkin. Now we have Penguin and Pinecone. I got that one last year all about a tale of friendship and how this penguin finds this pine cone and plants it and comes back later and the pine cone is turned into a beautiful tree and he has been taking care of this pine cone. He has to come back every winter. Well, I saw, <laughs> I saw pumpkin or penguin and pumpkin and thought, of course I'll get that because it goes right along in this book, they continue the relationship between Penguin and Pinecone in this tree and how they decorate it and get ready. Pumpkin is actually the little brother and it talks about inclusion. So not leaving people out, not making them feel less than, providing a, a way for them to experience something that they may not have been able to experience. So we had to get this book. Another book that I decided to purchase will also be um, just a daily read aloud. It's more of a chapter book size, but it is the Grace Notes, The Good Deed Crew, and The Pumpkin Surprise. There's a little glare on it. That one. What is, there's this group, and they decide that they are going to help someone give them a surprise. Let me read the back. It says, when a young boy is injured in a hayride accident, the musicians go undercover as the good deed crew and plot a plan of kindness for his family. Can they keep the pumpkin surprise a secret or will their cover be blown? I thought this was awesome. All about good deeds, doing things for other people, um, and giving in the fall and it includes pumpkins i mean any book that you can include pumpkins in the fall is like the perfect book right all right and last on the list this one is gratitude is my super power in this book it goes through and talks about all things to be grateful for the reasons why they are here <laughs> it's so funny someone said um i saw this on instagram that no way did God tell Noah to put two stink bugs on the ark? <laughs> I thought that was hilarious because oftentimes we think about why are these things here? Why do we have this? What is the purpose of this? But in this book, it helps to teach us to be grateful for everything, that everything has a purpose. It was created for a reason, including us you and me and to be grateful for everything that we have so we can turn something negative like stink bugs into something positive so i thought i would grab this it is the season of uh, fall and thankfulness thought this was a great book that is it for our fall reads we will flip through those books over and over and over again until we start to get into our christmas reads which i will share with you really soon i hope you enjoyed these books put it down in the comments. Let me know what are some of your favorite fall books that you will be reading over and over again and how you are going to be doing it. And if you are one of those people like me that really needs help sometimes when the weather is not pushing you into a specific season, I can't possibly be alone in that, right? I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead, click that subscribe button and that notification bell and give this video a thumbs up if you love the content. And I will see you right back here at the Life of Tillman's for another video next time. Bye.